Hey, we are back again with the game where you can collect wood, uh, the game where you can uh, fight monsters, the game where you can eat mushrooms, and uh, this joke is old. <laughs> we are going to be playing Darkwood, the horror survival game by um, Acid Wizard. I have a lot of respect for Acid Wizard. I haven't played any of the other games, but um, they did this whole thing where they gave out Darkwood for free for a little bit. Or maybe it's still going on. I have to look that up. But they um, they gave out Darkwood for free because there were some people who couldn't afford it. And they felt so bad about that that they just wanted to make sure some people got it. So I have a lot of respect for them. Um, if they still do have the free thing, I don't think so. But if they still do, I'd say don't do it unless you're in that situation because I think you should definitely support these uh, developers. They're pretty cool. Um, it's been a while since I've done a gaming sort of thing. I've been doing a lot of weird... Um, <laughs> Non-gaming things, I guess. I guess Ticket to Ride was gaming, sort of, but it was different. I'm going to stick back to my, you know, more traditional gaming approach and just play a survival horror game. This is going to be a playthrough, I'm pretty sure, actually. I'm going to try to play the whole game. Not now, but, like, you know, in the course of a few videos. Um, I'm relatively unspoiled for this game. I've, I've played up to, like, day two. I know a few things. Other than that, I think we'll be okay. Because there's a lot this game has to offer, so I think... After this video, everything should be, like, surprising to me so that, you know, you get real genuine reactions other than, oh, that happened again. <laughs> and if you're new to this game and you never heard about it, um, I hope you check it out. Maybe th consider buying it if you like uh, horror or survival or both of those together. And uh, maybe my gameplay might convince you or not. Let's go. Yeah, you see, as you can see, I have two profiles. I, I don't know how to delete the profiles. I think there's some like game data manipulation you have to do to delete profiles. Let's, oh, looks like I have to day four on this one. Oh boy. Well, how about, that'll be the goal. Like if we can get to day four, we'll end the video. That sounds fine. Difficulty, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty, <laughs> I don't, I don't think I want to go for the, <laughs> yeah, I think I just go for normal. Skip prologue. Yeah, sorry. If you want to see the prologue, there are plenty of other videos out there for it, but I've already seen it. I already know what to do. I'm already a gamer here. Uh, Indiegogo. Oh, yeah, we're, um, we don't want that because we don't want our immersion to be broken. So we're gamers. We're in it for the immersion. We are playing a challenging and unforgiving game. You will not be led by the hand. Uh, I don't expect to be. Respect the woods. Respect the respect the pouch. Uh, be patient. Focus. Oh wait, shoot. Am I gonna get sued by Capri Sun for that? <laughs> Every time I say anything, I get worried I'm gonna get sued. Who would sue me? If you sue me, you're petty. You're just the pettiest person. Respect the pouch. Respect it. Chapter one. The tale of two cities. Wasn't feeling so hot just there. So a pleasant warmth. A pleasant warmth. I'm gonna have to narrate all this shit. A pleasant warmth that's emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance. Sounds like drugs, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from this huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Oh look, it's a choose your own adventure. Should I examine the oven or look at the weird bottle? Let's look at the weird bottle. The label on this bottle says, Staying out of reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. Warning. Even if po properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety, remain vigilant. It is recommended to stay in a well-lit indoors area in order to minimize the risk. Yeah, sure. Sounds like Minecraft. <laughs> this cottage must have been one of our hideouts. One of our hideouts? Ooh, there's an organization. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale the, this revolting gas. Maybe this pot will prove useful after all. Ugh, no, gross. <laughs> Go away. I'm not a fan of needles. <laughs> the road home. Well, easy. Find that road. Find that road, game's over. Easy game. This is going to be such an easy game. Yeah, you see this giant hole in the wall? I'm gonna flex seal that up real quick, just, 
Yeah. Let's let's go ahead and flex seal that thing out. Oh, mushrooms. Okay, so from what I see in this game, I haven't played it in a little bit, but like mushrooms, you kind of want them to get back to your oven as soon as you can because that's like kind of like the XP system. And like they start rotting, so like you don't want to just let that go to waste. But um, I think it's about time that I venture outdoors because obviously I want to barricade my house from the creepy creatures at night. And to do that, I'm going to need some wood. Let's just go ahead and find ourselves some wood. Usually, I've only played this game like twice. I keep stopping because um, I get too scared. <laughs> I'm not a big horror fan, but every time, if I just go down... Oh. Never mind. Going down is not an option this time. Um, how about we try left of this path? Holy crap. What is... What is that? What, what, okay, whatever that was, it's... It's done. But we're safe now. Look at that! Dead body already. Easy game. Thanks, dead body. Those are poisonous mushrooms, they probably should Oh! It's a lot of dogs. Dogs are rather hostile in this game. So... Yeah, I suppose I shouldn't really bother them too much for right now. And they're right next to my house. That's some bogus stuff right there. As you can see, that this game is more of a top-down sort of experience. The generator is half empty. It contains enough gasoline for one more night. I should find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. The house above the underground entrance. I know what that is, not sure where it is. Let me just pour some gasoline in here for now. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a big fan of top-down games. Whether it's roguelikes or anything. I'm going to use the rest of this on the... Uh... Ooh, another corpse. Alright, let's, let's try going right. There's no map in this game, so you can't really... Okay. Well, can't go over here either. Um, oh! It's locked. Do you hear that? I swear to God, I keep hearing this weird, weird music. I, I've heard this the last two games, I've never found out what the hell it is. Every time I look for it, I end up getting, like, eaten, so maybe I shouldn't go towards it, but... Oh, pathway. Like, I'm getting closer to it, but, like, I don't want to get closer to it, you know what I'm saying? It seems like something I should avoid getting closer to. Oh, a bear trap. Some scrap from that. I'm gonna trade it on my TF2 market scrap metal. <laughs> For the underground entrances. Oh, okay. I um, I just went a little bit too far left or right. So if I go up a little bit, I should hit the underground entrance. This is a corpse. Oh. I don't see a dog. Ooh, nice corpse. I'm prone to getting lost in this game. Which is not a good thing. I know there's a watch item you can buy. I'd really like to have it. Just so that I know when to go back home. Oh! oh. Look where we are. 
Okay, so we have some more gas, so I might as well put it in the freaking thing for gas. We're good on gas for a while now, probably a few nights actually, maybe three. Although we still don't have wood, so that's a big problem. I'm going to be tonight's biggest loser if I don't get wood. Oh, there's a dog right this way. He doesn't want to fight. He knows what'll happen. Oh, I found it. I found the house. And I found some wood. I think we're gonna be okay. I'll find the entrance to the underground here. Oh, what is this, Undertale? But you go into the underground? That would be a very strange shift in this game's tone. <laughs> Wardrobe, some cigarettes, thanks. That was extremely necessary. <laughs> Immersion. All right, there's probably stuff inside that room, but I have what I need. So I should probably just be getting home fairly soon. I have enough to board up, like, maybe a window. Oh, oh, hey, big old moose. You don't want to get involved with them. They're very protective. Oh, another, another loot crate. Oh, I can open this one. This one isn't locked. Something doesn't want me here. I'm sorry. Oh. He was almost gonna go after me, wasn't he? Yeah, well, I hope he tried. Is that another corpse, or is that the same corpse? No, it's a different corpse. There are a lot of dead bodies around here. <laughs> <laughs> there are an unnatural amount of dead bodies in the area. Let's get ready for the night. I know it's kind of a waste of gasoline to start the generator so early, but to be honest, I like to play it safe. And we have a lot of extra gas, so I don't give a crap. Let's, uh, let's barricade the door with the stool. This is going to be what stops the aliens from coming in. This is our final stand. I think I could probably go for barricading this door. Uh, oh, I need three? Oh, I don't have enough. I did not get enough. Oh, poop. Do I have any in here? Oh, boy. Okay. Um, oh, shh. I can make, I can make a weapon. I can make a weapon, and that's all I need. Can I make any bear traps? I can make a chain trap. Yeah, might as well. God, I would really like to not have it <laughs> open. Like, you know, I really want to close this window, but I don't have enough wood. I kind of screwed myself over in that way. Did I make my... Okay, I made my weapon. Thank God. I'm gonna need it. Okay, so in this game, here's how night works, right? You stand in a corner, and you sort of pray. And if you don't pray hard enough, you die. That's about it. Oh, it's definitely nighttime right now. This game is so atmospheric, I love it. The to that top down sort of horror. Like I'm not a fan of horror. I couldn't watch I don't know if you've ever seen it. There's this movie 
where they go to space. I think it's like Apollo or something. Where, like, they go to space and like all these space spiders eat them. It really wasn't that scary, but I couldn't even handle that. Holy shit, something just... Did you hear that? I swear to God, I heard footsteps that weren't mine. They were not mine. I heard, like, very fast-paced footsteps. I, I, those weren't mine. Right? Can I... I'm gonna replay the audio. But... Holy shit, something is right outside. This does not happen. I've played this game, like, twice. First night, this is not supposed to happen. Something's different. Oh, God. It's because I didn't barricade any windows. I am being punished for that. Oh, dear God. Okay. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Nothing bad's going to happen. Nothing bad's going to happen. We're all good here. <laughs> as, I, as I said, I'm not a fan of the horror genre. What the hell is that? Oh, ho, ho. no, 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 no. Nothing's even happening, and I'm having, like, a stroke. The lights are flickering. What is that? <gasps> what? No, 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 no. No, 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 negative nada. Nope. Nope, absolutely not. Won't do it. Won't even think about it. Won't even believe it. Won't even imagine it's there. Um if there's any other way to say no, I'd say it now. I think it's gone. Um, I, th I think it was it was just there to open the door and then <laughs> leave. Just a fucking advanced ding dong ditch. <laughs> just actually trying to scare the hell out of me. I didn't know standing in place could be so. <laughs> So mentally exhausting. What is that? What is that? I hear something. There's like a, there's like a train coming towards me. What is that? Oh my god. Dude, it's getting too loud. Oh my god, something's like in here. Oh my god. Everything's red. Oh, wait, that's <laughs> that's just... I haven't played this game in a while. Ew, who are you? Oh, I remember you. It's Wolfman. Even from afar, I can smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, meat. This fucking asshole hides its face under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. Yeah, you don't smell good either. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you lost if you help me attend to a certain matter. What do you say, comrade? Oh, see, he's a Russian. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. I think this game takes place in Poland. I think. I'm not sure about the lore. I'm just here to be scared. As he leans towards me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. Fucking, okay. I knew it would interest you. Before we can make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I have no time for weaklings, meat. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get to the silent forest. You think it's so easy. If I were you, I would prepare myself well before setting out. What's gossip? What's gossip? What's Becky been up to, Wolfman? I'd avoid getting into trouble if I were you, Meat. Or at least until you get a decent weapon. I have a decent weapon. It's a freaking <laughs> wooden board with nails on it. Is that him breathing? Can you stop breathing so heavily, asshole? Okay, so what I'm wondering is... How did something get inside? You can't just climb through the windows, right? How did something open this door? I wonder if I could, like, hurt Wolfman. That would be so funny. I better go and, uh... Turn off this, uh... 
generator before I waste a bunch of fuel. So that was day one, pretty easy. And we have enough gas to like last us like at least a year. Today's goal is gonna be to find wood because we need to barricade this helm up. Sawmill filling ASMR. I believe it's time for us to go out. Should I just try to fight all the dogs? I wonder. Like, should I just take the head-on approach and try to fight a bunch of dogs? Or should I try to, like, trick them? How many are there? There are, like, four. Is that all of them? If I draw them out, I think I could take four. Hey. Hey, stupid. Over here. Over here, stupid. Sorry, that's not nice. I shouldn't be mean to dogs. But I mean, technically these dogs have become feral and zombified. If I was talking to a corgi, I wouldn't say that, but these dogs are literally trying to eat me, so. I believe I'm allowed to maybe diss them a little bit. Come on. Come on, come at me. No, come at me, ugh. Do I have anything I can throw at them? I just, I just want one of them to like see me and come after me, but not the whole pack. Because that would probably end very badly. Yeah. Look, look, be mad at me. Be mad, be mad. Watch this. You see this meat? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh god, I'm being killed. I'm being, I'm being killed. Come at me again. Oh god, I'm dying. Oh no. Oh no. I'm poisoned too. Okay. Okay. That was unfortunate. I can come back from that. I'm not sure I want to fight them more of what just happened to me like yeah I don't think I'll make it if I try to fight them but I kind of really want to get the stuff in the tent and things like that gasoline some clothes over there I might be able to get stuff from no no don't do it don't do it asshole come on if you want to fight you want to fight Oh, dang it. <laughs> dang it. You missed! How could you miss? It was crazy! God, I sure went through a lot to get some really shitty items. I think that was not worth it. Yeah, I don't want to be here. I mean, to be completely honest, I don't want to be anywhere near this entire area. I just want to be at home. But if I'm just at home, I'm probably going to get myself killed, so... That's why I got a... <gasps> Ooh! The lumber yard, yes. I have been saved. I should be getting enough wood now to... totally... Um, you know, fight back my... Oppressors. I was looking for this place. This is the place that just gives you a bunch of wood. Of course, you have to chop it up, but I still think it's pretty useful. Oh, it's another house. It's a burned house. dogs around here? Dang it. Oh, what is that? Destroyed well, huh? Is 
disassembled tractor. Ooh, gas and a tire? Oh, I gotta go soon. I'm kind of full on everything. Mm -hmm. 